person that you've interviewed? Anyone that you could say? Is it? I would say Bing Crosby. Yes. Al Jolson. Uh -huh. Reagan. Frank Sinatra. The list is endless, but uh, I'll, I'll, I'll continue that list soon. Yes. Well, um, how how did you get your show first? You know, I know you were one of the first interview shows on television. I was how choosing the records for men named Martin Block on the Make Believe Ballroom. I got a phone. He got me my own little show on WNEW. And then uh, I got a call from Channel 7 that they're lighting up. There was no daytime TV yet. They're lighting up in the daytime. What kind of a show might I do? If they gave me an hour day, what kind of show might I do? I said, well, I do show people talking. I said, no, no, I won't, I won't. You're nuts. You can't do a talk show on television. You got to sell some bottles, bright clothes, baggy pants. So I said, well, the rock and roll was just in my How about a show of kids dancing to records? They said, dude, now we know you're nuts. Who's going to watch kids dance to records? Dick Clark comes along because a multi billionaire. Right. And, uh, I, I created the first uh, talk show as we know it. Right. And and how is it do doing it now at Bloomberg? Um, Bloomberg, I'm Bloomberg right this week. I had, I had, I had, I had uh, Paul Lanka, uh, Chris Cindy Lauper, Olivia Newton John. Neil Sedaka, uh, it's endless, endless. Right. What did you think of Kinky Boots? Did you see Kinky Boots? I saw, I saw did my... you talk to her about Kinky Boots recently? Yeah, of course, of course. She's very good. That's great. Listen, well, I want to thank you. Let's do part two when you're ready. You promise me? Yes, I would love to do a part two in a better situation. In a quiet, in a quiet place. I <laughs> Let's do that.